Hi, everybody. This is Bill Neville, WA7KMF, with a little short discussion on frequency deviation. Okay, so here we have an FM carrier. The amplitude uh, goes from the positive, positive peak to the negative peak. This is a carrier without modulation. An FM modulator changes the frequency of the carrier as the modulation changes to uh, impress the, the information onto the signal so we can receive a voice or transmit data. So if this power supply is connected up so we can vary the voltage uh, on the signal generator to simulate modulation. So if, as I increase and decrease the DC voltage, frequency changes and decreases at the same rate. Okay, so now if we take that uh, farther and we uh, this has just a little uh, 18 cycle oscillator uh, varying the waveform now. You can see it compresses and expands with the signal that we're sending in from the signal generator here. So now that's the same thing your voice would do. Now this is just an oscilloscope with uh, my voice going into this gray microphone and it's displaying it on the screen. As I talk louder, the peaks get bigger and if I talk farther away, the peaks get softer. Okay, so as we talk, our voice peaks are louder and softer and that uh, changes the frequency, plus or minus, depending on whether it's a positive swing or a negative swing. And so we see on our, our display the waveforms moving and uh, frequency changes, either increases or decreases with the change in my voice. Now that's called deviation, and the deviation is measured in plus or minus however many kilohertz the signal might change. Okay, so here's an instrument that we use to measure deviation, and uh, deviation is a parameter that we calibrate the transmitters with. All it means is uh, the amount of swing that the carrier goes through with, with modulation, how, how many cycles plus or minus that the carrier changes frequency uh, depending on the modulation. So if I key the microphone on the bottom scale, you see, see the deviation changing. And if I talk real soft, it's only uh, 10 kilohertz or so. But if I bring the microphone closer to my mouth, it gets uh, much higher and is almost 50 kilohertz, and that means it's a much wider signal. 